hey, it's a crowded world. You feel those pains. I know you do. To unlock the digital career you dream of, you need to break free of the noise. I've got a secret on how to do that. It's a superpower, really. I'm talking about curation. Intrigued? Keep listening. Welcome to the Rising Digital Leaders Show. I am your host, Matthew Doan. Today's organizations are powered by digital capabilities, cloud, data science, cybersecurity, and much more. To be competitive, we must have tech-savvy leaders steering the ships. But these people don't come out of thin air. We must develop them. This show is for the technical experts of the world, those brave souls that feel unheard and lost in the crowd, but know they were born to lead. We need you to rise, to become impactful digital leaders. In these episodes, we help you undergo a self-transformation, developing the mindset and skill set that'll massively enhance your abilities, influence, and career potential. We take a different approach, pulling in lessons from philosophy, psychology, neuroscience, and history to enrich the professional and personal aspects of your life. Thank you for your time. Please subscribe to the Rising Digital Leader Show. Now, let's dig in. Here's a simple truth. We are drowning in content. Content used to be scarce. Prior to the digital age, you had to pay for access to certain information or you had to know somebody. That's not a problem anymore. Gaining access to today's leading minds merely requires tapping the follow button. Breaking news, courses, articles? Please, that's child's play. It's almost all free now. In a recent TechCrunch article, EdTech pioneer Wes Cow summed it up really well. She said, We've reached the post-content age. In other words, content is no longer scarce in education. It's either free or low cost, and it's abundant. Let that seep in. Everything is at your fingertips. That's the pro. What's the con? Well, everything is at your fingertips. We're overloaded with options. That leads me to my next point. Curation is a superpower. Simply defined, curation is the process of gathering information on a particular topic in order to down-select and organize the most compelling content. We then deliver that packaged content to a certain audience, which is sometimes ourselves. There are some compelling reasons to do this. Maybe we want to separate the signal from the noise, identify trusted and interesting sources, discard the crappy and the unhelpful sources. Maybe we want to acquire some amount of inner peace. The list goes on. In the information game, this puts you in the 1% if you're doing curation. 99% of people are raw consumers. They let it hit them like a tsunami. But the 1%, and I'm thinking that might be you, take the time to curate the fire hose of content coming for their throats. From a professional standpoint, this is critical. If you master the art of curation, you're able to take control of your self-development and your career trajectory. As we talked about in episode number three, focused on career navigation, we need to be intentional across multiple phases of our career to unlock the life we dream of. Curation is a superpower for that. So maybe you're asking, how do I get good at curation? Great question. Imagine yourself for a moment at the center of a web. Currently, the web is thick and unwieldy. It's weighing you down and you can't move or even breathe. Your aim through curation, though, is to control and reduce the number of influences reaching your brain. In essence, you want to curate your personal feed. You'll need to curate from a range of channels, social media, books, direct relationships, role models that are both dead and alive, podcasts, YouTube, just to name some of the primary ones. You need to fine tune which channels you'll consume, and then within each channel, which content you'll allow to reach your brain. In the spirit of our career navigation episode, here's the exercise I use to curate. Pull out a sheet of paper or whip open your notes app. Think 25 years into the future. What kind of life do you want to be living? Brainstorm the features of your life, health, wealth, freedom, purpose, family, travel, all of it. 
This is what we reverse engineer from. Next, think five years ahead. What type of professional and personal experiences do you need to acquire to edge towards that 25 year future? Lastly, think one year forward. What are the specific skills and events you'll want to engage in that propel you forward? It's one interlinked framework spanning multiple time horizons. Okay, step back. Once you have that, figure out the types of people and ideas you'll want to surround yourself with. Maybe you're an individual contributor today, a data engineer, for example, but you want to be a chief technology officer someday. You sense that leaders of that caliber understand psychology, for example. So you choose to curate insights from people like Adam Grant and from publications like Psychology Today. Then there's the very practical steps of curating how to receive that information. There's great guidance out there on this topic, but essentially you'll want to unfollow the noise on social media that doesn't serve you and follow the specific feeds that do serve you. You'll want to acquire source material that gets you where you want to go and then ruthlessly delete the rest. Want a great hack? Stop watching the news. It's manipulative and it's no good for your growth-oriented brain. As you make these curation decisions, the web becomes cleaner, more intentional. You start to gain control. Let's pause for a second. Maybe by now you've thrown your arms up in the air. Maybe it all feels like too much work. I won't lie, it's difficult. But once you do the upfront work, maybe several focused hours, you'll start seeing the compounding effects. After the initial work, it's maintenance mode going forward. Just some simple gardening and tweaking maybe once a week. Most importantly, you'll reap concentrated benefits through inputs and outputs. Input-wise, the benefits should be obvious. Your curated feed drives your personal development towards an intentional, inspiring future. You become increasingly expert in the subjects of your choosing. You develop yourself in a powerful and unique way. Secondly, you have the potential for powerful outputs. This plays out in several spheres. At work, you'll be increasingly capable on delivering your chosen subjects. While everyone else is stuck with surface level and generic information and skill sets, you'll live at an intersection of profound ideas that no one else can compete with. Your stock will rise due to your curation habit. Also, think of how you can convert this knowledge into an impactful personal brand online. Your curated content is fuel for delivering value to a global audience. Think through the ways you'd like to help others. Maybe that's a subscription newsletter, a podcast, or videos. You've seen others do this on Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and the like. Largely due to their curation superpower, they've now got an enraptured audience of thousands or even millions. And on a very human level, think of the wisdom that you can transfer to others to enhance their lives. That's really powerful. Making curation one of your superpowers leads you to a state that's both intrinsically and extrinsically rewarding. A few final points I'd like to make. Curation enables exponential outcomes. The more concentrated your focus, the more people will look to you for help. Within your organization, people will see you as a quick study, a self-controlled, highly capable leader. Externally, when you deliver value to a niche audience, others from around the world with that same need will gravitate into your orbit. Here, you'll be experiencing network effects. Your brand will scale quickly. There's also the idea that curation helps you at multiple levels. It certainly helps with yourself when you grow towards your goals. It helps your organization as you start to deliver value to them. Up another level, it helps at the industry level when you can work through conferences and industry publications to make sure that your voice is heard across a broader world. And then lastly, across the lifespan of your career, think how this compounds. When you decide to curate certain types of information, take that in and then push information back out to the world, you're really enhancing your career in a way that others simply aren't doing. Let's wrap this chat up. In summary, we've covered a few key points today. As a backdrop, the reality is that we're drowning in content today. 
I've introduced curation as a potential superpower for you. We discussed ways to improve your curation abilities. And lastly, we touched upon the major benefits of focusing on this skill. And trust me, it's a timeless one. Hopefully, I've sparked something within you today. I hope you'll shake things up. As always, I'm here to help you stand out from the crowd so that the world can reward you for the extreme value that I know you're capable of delivering. Thanks for your time. We'll connect again soon. This is your host, Matthew Doan. Thank you for listening to the Rising Digital Leaders Show. Again, my mission is to help you elevate your career as a digital leader and live a thriving life. I hope this episode sparks new thinking and helps you take meaningful action in your world. If you enjoyed the experience, I'd be so grateful if you subscribed and left a five-star review. That's it for now. Until next time, my friends, stay virtuous.